The half-life of Palladium-100 is four days. After 12 days, a sample of Palladium-100 has been reduced to a mass of 6 milligrams. What was the initial mass of the sample, and what is the mass seven weeks after the start? To answer the questions, we'll be using the exponential function shown below, where p of t is the amount after time t, p sub zero is the initial or starting amount, k is the exponential growth or decay rate, expresses a decimal, and t is time. We'll begin by determining k using the fact that the half-life of Palladium 100 is four days. Remember the half-life is the time it takes for half of the mass to decay. So we know the time t in days is equal to four. And now to model the half-life, let's let p sub zero, the starting amount, be equal to two milligrams. So if p sub zero is equal to two milligrams, and the half-life is four days, after four days, half of the two milligrams will be left, which means p of four is equal to one. Again, after four days, one milligram of mass is left. And now we'll perform substitution into the equation and solve for k. On the left side we have p of four, which is one, equals p sub zero is two, e raised to the power of k times t, where k is unknown and t is four days. The next step is to isolate the exponential part by dividing both sides by two. Simplifying, we have one half equals two divided by two simplifies the one. On the right side we have e raised to the power of k times four, or e raised to the power of four k. And that is solve for k, because k is in the position of the exponent and we have base e, we will take the natural log of both sides of the equation. This gives us natural log one half is equal to natural log of e raised to the power of four k. On the right side we apply the power property of logarithms. Natural log of e raised to the power of four k is equal to four k times natural log e. And natural log e is equal to one, so this simplifies out. To solve for k we divide both sides by four. Simplifying on the right first, four divided by four simplifies to one, giving us k equals on the right side. We have natural log one half divided by four, but let's write that as one fourth natural log one half. And now let's sub the value of k into the exponential function. We have p of t equals p sub zero times e raised to the power of one fourth natural log one half times t. And now we can use this function with the information that after 12 days a sample of palladium 100 has been reduced to a mass of six milligrams to determine the initial mass of the sample. Using the given information, time t is 12 days. The sample has been reduced to a mass of six milligrams after the 12 days, which means the amount after 12 days, or p of 12, is equal to six milligrams, and we're trying to find the initial mass, which is p sub zero. So again, we'll substitute the known values into the exponential function, where on the left side we have p of 12, which is six, equals on the right side, we don't know p sub zero, and then we have e raised to the power of one fourth natural log one half times t, where t is time in days, which gives us an exponent of one fourth, natural log one half, and times t, which is 12. Let's go ahead and simplify the exponent here. Notice one fourth times 12 is equal to three, which gives us six equals p sub zero times e, raised to the power of three natural log one half. And now to solve for p sub zero, we divide both sides by e, raised to the power of three natural log one half. Simplifying on the right first, this quotient simplifies to one, giving us p sub zero is equal to the quotient on the left, and now we go to the calculator. We have six divided by second to natural log brings up e raised to the power of, and the exponent is three 
natural log one half if we want point five. Close parenthesis and enter. Notice P sub zero is 48 milligrams, which means the initial mass of the sample is 48 milligrams. And let's also place 48 for P sub zero in our exponential function. We now know P of t is equal to 48 times e raised to the power of one fourth natural log one half times t. And now that we have our function in terms of t, we can answer the last question, which is what is the mass in milligrams seven weeks after the start? We need to be a little careful though, because remember t is time in days, and this question is giving us the time in weeks. And since there are seven days in a week, seven weeks is equal to seven times seven, or 49 days, and therefore we use 49 for the time t to determine the mass left after seven weeks. So now we need to find P of 49. So we substitute 49 for T, which gives us 48 times E raised to the power of one fourth natural log one half times 49. And we go back to the calculator one more time. And we are told to round to four decimal places or enter the exact value, which should be this value here. Let's go ahead and find the decimal approximation so we enter 48, again, second natural log brings up E, raised to the power of one-fourth, which is equivalent to 0.25, so we'll enter 0.25, and then natural log one-half, which is equivalent to 0.5, close parenthesis, and then times 49, enter. Notice how there's a five in the fifth decimal place, and therefore we round up to point zero zero nine nine. So now we know after seven weeks, approximately zero point zero zero nine nine milligrams of the platinum one hundred is left. I hope you found this helpful.